Thanks for clicking. Canada's real estate market is in the midst of a historic correction and sales could drop by as much as 42% according to a new report by RBC. The report is making headlines across Canada's business sections and coincides with local reports showing record listing cancellations in Toronto and major discounts across the board. According to RBC, the current housing correction is going to be the steepest of corrections out of the last five national downturns, as the next highest downturn only saw a 38% drop in sales, and that was in 2008. What a time to be alive. So what I want to do today is go over the report, look at how high RBC thinks interest rates will rise, how low it says Canada's housing prices will go, which parts of Canada will be affected, and how long RBC thinks this correction will last. That is, when will prices start to move upward again? We are going to be getting some updates on Canada's real estate market as a whole early next week, as we're expecting to get the data out from the local real estate boards, with many thinking that there's going to be a major correction shown in July. We'll obviously have updates out on that data on this channel. If you want to get those updates, make sure you click like and subscribe. But for now, let's get into RBC's report. RBC begins the report by saying that the slowdown in Canada's real estate started when the Bank of Canada raised rates in March, and this slowdown in price decline is likely to only worsen now that the bank has raised rates by 100 basis points earlier this month. Yeah, no sh Sherlock. The move, says RBC, brought variable rate mortgages in line with those of fixed rates, eliminating the last available source of cheap funding for borrowers. And they're not done yet, with RBC predicting the Bank of Canada will raise its policy rate up to 3.25% by October, or 75 basis points higher than it is right now. As such, RBC is expecting affordability to be crushed reaching its all-time lowest point on a nationwide basis by the time the Bank of Canada is done raising rates. And with affordability crushed, this will obviously put even more downward pressure on Canada's real estate prices. Yeah, obviously. As mentioned at the beginning, RBC is predicting a 42% decrease in sales by 2023, but they're also predicting a 12% decrease in Canada's benchmark price from peak to trough by the second quarter of 2023. And RBC is just talking nationwide here. There are obviously going to be big, big outliers. In my hometown of London, Ontario, our regional benchmark price was 749 k in February. In June, that had dropped close to 649 k nearly a 14% drop in just a period of a few months. We've also already seen over a 12% drop in Toronto's benchmark price. They had a 1.376 million benchmark price in March, which dropped to 1.2 million in June, a 12.5% price drop in just a period of a few months as well. So in many parts of Ontario, we've already seen that 12% price drop that RBC is predicting. And as we mentioned, there's been no signs of slowing. And RBC readily acknowledges that the price drops are going to be worse in the areas where the prices have been the highest, in BC and in Ontario. About what we expected. Indeed, RBC is projecting that BC and Ontario will see their sales drop by 45 and 38% in 2022 and 2023, and also see their aggregate prices drop by 14%. So in summary, RBC is predicting the policy rate to hit 3.25% by October. Canada is going to see a 42% drop in sales and a 12% drop in prices nationwide. The effects in Ontario and BC are going to be much, much worse as they've been the epicenter of pandemic pricing. They've seen the highest increases so far, so they will see the largest drops as well. However, RBC says that this is a correction, not a crash, and the correction should be over by 2023. While RBC is not ruling out a prolonged slump, they are saying that solid immigration numbers and a very minimal risk that we will overbuild will prevent a prolonged slump, a pro prolonged correction. Clearly, this is a major divergence from RBC's January prediction that the housing market would continue to grow, albeit at a slower pace, well into 2023. With that said, it is still more hawkish than TD's prediction of a 33% drop in sales that we talked about on this channel at the beginning of this month. 
So definitely not great news from RBC, definitely not unexpected news, but not great news nonetheless. Ontario and BC have seen the biggest price increases over the past two years, and as such, they are going to be experiencing the biggest price drops, and RBC really doesn't see any end in sight for the remainder of 2022, raising a brief glimmer of hope that this correction will be finished by midway through 2023. With that said, whether or not they will be correct remains to be seen. Obviously, they were a little overly optimistic, to say the least, in January of 2022. But, well, we will find out soon enough the extent to which they are correct on these predictions. We will have a better idea of how far those prices have dropped thus far when the local real estate boards start reporting their data early next week. And we'll obviously have updates out on that data on this channel. If you want to get those updates, make sure you click like and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.